Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel Mavericks Arcade. My name is Chuck. Today we're going to be talking about the LED Blinky software. Now this software is for arcades that have LED lights on them. They can either be single LEDs or RGB LEDs, so you can select the colors. Now, when I started building my arcade, from the get-go I made a spreadsheet that allows me to easily track. Here's the spreadsheet, and I'll pull it up on the screen over here and basically it shows um, what the input the input field is saying what the board shows as being the input preset codes is what normally um, main would consider the button for that code um, the codes with shift that's a functionality that some boards have where you can hold down one button and as you're holding that button down it acts like a shift key so you can re make the buttons have multiple purposes. As you can see, I don't use that functionality that much. Um, now, with the column that says my button, that's what I'm considering the functionality to be. Um, you can see on there that I've defined right flipper and left flipper, which of course is not a standard button. So that's what I call it. And then the key mapping is what key has been associated with that button. Now my Mine is not fully up to date here, um, which is fine. Um, the LED number, that is the first number that is the red, because on my board, RGB, they're uh, continuous numbers. So in the case of, say, the Start 2 button, um, it shows 43. That's because the red is 43, the green is 44, and the blue is 45. So I only am recording the first number. Um, audio frequency, that's something we'll get into later with the jukebox software, and that's just for me to record what frequency I assign that button to be uh, associated with. Um, and then the control cable is just on the wiring harness, what color it is that's attached to that button. So, again, in my example, um, I'm showing here coin 1, so that's a key code of 5. And I don't have the LED marked here, but it's key mapping of 5 and an audio frequency of 12. And the little wire going to it is colored red. Um, now down here on the bottom, you'll see I have a joystick 1 LED, uh, joystick 2 LED, LGE, CGE, and RGE. What the GE stands for is I had some extra LEDs left over, so I actually did some ground effects on my cabinet to light up the floor a little bit. So LGE is left ground effect center ground effect and RGE is right ground effect. Now there's no buttons associated with these, these are lights only um, and you can see the LEDs have been um, marked there, uh, the numbers for the LEDs but again they are strictly for lighting, they are not associated to a control so they do not have any buttons assigned. Now this is, video is part one which is the initial configuration there will be a part two for animations, part three for LED Blinky specifically with main, LED, four, um, LED Blinky part four, which is going to be specifically about the controls editor functionality, and then part five will be about jukebox effects. Um, so now I'm going to turn on my recorder for the arcade so that we will be able to um, show LED blinky in motion and again I'm going to show that on the corner of the screen here so let's go over to LED blinky I'm going to launch it here and I'm also going to show you the actual arcade cabinet and the reason why I'm doing that is so that you can see the buttons lighting up on the cabinet now the settings that are in here currently we're not we're just going to not worry about those at the moment the first thing we want to do is go to tools and choose generate input map now, I have two controllers in mine. Um, one is for um, a gyro, which we're not even going to worry about here. So I'm selecting the IPAC Ultimate IO, which is my controller. And you can see I've already entered in the codes here. But let me just give you an idea of how they're configured. So port 1, 2, 3, all the different numbers, those are the ports on my board. And again, I'm looking for the first LED. So um, in this case, the marquee. When, the other thing that's neat is when you click on the ports, it lights up the button on the arcade. So when we select port 1, you can see my marquee is lighting up, and it's the red one. So it's associated here as the RGB, 
red. Now, if this was just a single color light and it doesn't change colors, then you would see the option in here for single. But all my lights are RGB. So the light that lit up was the red one, so I'll choose RGB red. Now again, there are no key codes associated with this one because this is just a light. So there's no input codes listed here. So let's go ahead and P1 start has a code of one. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the port. I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna highlight the next one, clear that port. And this is just so I can show you how it's set up. And I'm gonna hit clear port and yes. So basically as you're going through your ports, we select it, we see light up and I'm gonna type in the port label P1 start. And I want it to be capitalized just to be consistent with the rest of the settings. And this is the RGB light and the one that's red is currently lit up. And then I'm gonna look for my key codes and I'm gonna look for key code one. And I'm gonna select key code one. Then I'm going to hit set port and then I'm going to click on the next uh, LED and as you can see it just changed color the start button just changed color so I'm going to again make sure the labels match um, if they don't match that will cause you issues so we're now going to set this as the green button and again all this is doing is it's telling LED blinky what buttons are associated with the controls now the reason for this is when your game says um, when main sends the information about which buttons are being used for the game, that key code is what is telling LED Blinky this code means to light up this light. That's why we're defining these codes here. So again, I'm just putting these in. And now for this one, P1 start. And this is my blue light. Oh, not green. Blue. And then we got to make sure the code's selected and we're going to hit set port. Now again, I'm just going to go down through the port so you can see the various buttons light up. So this is my plunger button. And again, all three colors need to have that code associated with it. So as you can see, as I go through the ports, it's lighting the buttons on the case. My exit button. Uh, and then we got player button one. I'm going to speed up a little bit. You can see it's going through player button two, player button three, player button four, player button five, player one button six, player two coin, player one coin. Um, this is the joystick. Now you can see on this joystick, I actually have, because I use the keys for player one as being up, down, left, right, I had to associate all those key codes. The reason why is because as main gives the instructions saying up, down, left, right, we want it to light for each of those codes. Or if there's a game that only has left and right, we need to make sure the joystick lights up. So that's why that's there. Now P2 start, and then we have the trackball. And then my second part of my marquee, because I'm using two channels, this is really cool because then I'm gonna be able to create animations where it looks like police lights um, for some of the cop games. Now this is my ground effect for the right side, my center ground effect. This is my left ground effect. And then player four coin, player three coin, player two button six, player two button five, player two button four, player two button three, player two button two, player two button one, player three start, player four start, my flippers. Now, here's the thing that's funny is I have a left and a right flipper and I have the code Z in here. Now, this is gonna only be used for my pinball games, but I don't have a left and a right flipper defined. Well, that's because I ran out of ports for my LEDs. So I spliced the flippers because they're only ever gonna need to be the same color. They just won't be as bright as the rest of the buttons. But I was able to use one port instead of two for flippers, which are always gonna be lit up the same color. Um, so then I have joystick two. And again, I have all the commands for the directions that I programmed on my board. And once all of these settings are put in here, 
then you are done with generating your input map. So what we would do is on the top here, we would hit save. And we would go ahead and close that out. And now we're back to LED Blinky. So this is the very, very first part. And the rest of these settings are really going to come into play near the end after we've configured everything else. We've configured animations and so forth. That way it'll just make more sense. Part two will be the animation editor. Um, so make sure to check out that video uh, as soon as it's ready, and that should help you out. If you guys have any questions, please email me as uh, at mavericksarcade at gmail.com um, and leave any comments. Appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click like below and leave a comment. If you have questions or suggestions, please email mavericksarcade at gmail.com. And if you're into consoles, classic gaming, or home arcades, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for watching.